Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Jayco J Flight 232RB. If you're looking for a couple's coach, you want something that's not too long, but you still want a dinette and a sofa, and you don't want to mess with a slide, then this is certainly one you want to check out. Let's start off right over here. This is pretty cool. So as soon as you walk in the door, you'll see you have this little area to store your shoes. And I personally love that because I hate having all my shoes crowded around the doorway right there. Here, you can take them off and put them right there. The other thing I love about this layout is this right here, folks. That is a campsite dinette. You know, this is where I want to sit. This is the view I want, whether I'm having my morning cup of coffee or breakfast, dinner, whatever it may be. I want to look out the window to my campsite, not be staring out at my neighbors. Also, this does drop down into a bed. Now, it's not a very big bed, so an adult would probably have a tough time sleeping here, but it is good for kids or if you have a pack and play. Maybe, you know, you're a new family or maybe you are grandparents, the kids are coming and they have a newborn. Great, drop the table down, you can take the cushions off, set a pack and play up right here. It makes a great spot for it. You notice the LED light there underneath, so you know, helps provide a little bit of light at night. You also have an electrical outlet down below in case you need to plug anything in. You have extra storage here going all the way across the top. And then right outside you have hookups for your TV as well as your Bluetooth capable radio right here. You'll actually mount the TV over here so if you do want a TV they put a backer in the wall that's where you'll mount it and again the connections are right over there. Your TV antenna is right above it. This is a WineGuard Razor TV antenna which is an upgraded to antenna. It's low profile. You no longer have to crank it up and down you just turn it to find the best signal. Right behind me here is the bathroom. Taking a quick look here, you see right down below is your foot flush lever toilet. Obviously, you have plenty of leg room there in front of you. Uh, over to this side here, you can see your sink top. You'll notice you have some good space there, electrical outlet, great storage underneath. You have a hand towel ring right up here. But take a look at this, folks. You have a massive wardrobe spanning the entire length right here. So huge hanging space, which is great. You know, if you'd like to bring a lot of clothes, you can put them all in here, and there's plenty of room in this bathroom for you to easily get changed. Then right across the way, you see the tub shower here. Notice you do have some shelves. I'll take a step in here just to kind of give you the idea of height. I'm six foot. As you can see, I can stand underneath the ceiling here, which is great. If you're a little bit taller, you have the skylight here giving you an extra couple inches there as well. And then, of course, you have the hand wand there to make showering nice and easy. So we take a look on the off-door side here at the kitchen. We'll open up the refrigerator. Plenty of space there, folks. Six cubic foot. This is a Norcold fridge-freezer combo. Uh, I, I like this one because the thermostat's right here on the outside, so it's easy to not only see but also adjust. And, of course, this one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Right up top here is your microwave. Directly underneath that is your hood with the light and fan. Three burner cooktop here, the front one being high output. And then you have the oven in case you want to do some baking. Over to the side, you have your double bowl sink here with the high rise faucet to help wash and rinse dishes. Window there to let in some natural light during the day as well as the LED light at night. You also have an electrical outlet there and you also see your tank monitoring panel. Uh, so that way it's nice and easy to check your tank levels. Right up top here, some additional storage. Easy enough to get at. And then you also have storage underneath starting right down here. If you see that hose, folks, that actually connects to your water pump. Excuse me, that makes it nice and easy if you plan on doing some winterization, you plan on doing it yourself. You can actually take that hose, stick it down in your bottle of glycol to be able to pump it through the system. So it's pretty cool that that comes with it. You'll also see you have two full extension ball bearing drawers here, which are great. That way you have a spot for not just your silverware, but all your other utensils too, like your spatula, knives, things like that. And then right here is your jackknife sofa. I love that they included this in here because this gives you an extra spot to sit, right? You have guests coming over. You want to be able to entertain a few people. Sure, you have the dinette, but this is great too. Or maybe it's a, a day you just want to sit back and relax and watch TV. If you do mount it on the wall, here's a good spot for it too. You just Again, just kind of a straight shot. You do have the removable armrests on here. I like the fact that it at least comes with them. At least it gives you a place to put your arm. But if you need to take them off to fold it down into a bed, you can. And if you take a look underneath, you will see you do have some additional storage there. 
So we take a look in the bedroom here, you'll see your queen bed in the center. And of course on both sides you have big nightstands, which are great. That way you have plenty of room for a drink at night, or you know you can put your uh, tablet up there, your cell phone to charge, you see a couple electrical outlets. And if you have a CPAP machine, you're able to put that on either side of the bed. Right up above, you have some storage here. On one side, you will notice you have some shelves. On the other side, you have a hanging rod. So if you need more wardrobe space besides what is back in the uh, uh, bathroom there, you have this storage here too. You also have the shelf going across with a couple LED lights there. And you will notice windows on both sides for cross ventilation, as well as a backer here in the wall in case you do want a TV in the bedroom. Now that we've seen the insides, take a quick look at the outside of the J-Flight 232RB. Starting off right up front, you have two 20-pound propane tanks there. Behind that, you will see rails for your battery. And then coming up the front, you have the black diamond plating, helping to protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. When we come around to this side here, you can take a look in the pass-through. Uh, of course, you have access from this side as well as the off-door side, and you also have access to this storage from underneath the bed. So, three different access points to get to this area. Large power awning on here too, folks. Touch button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. This is the Solera Power Awning by Lippert. I honestly like this awning quite a bit. The reason is it has probably the easiest uh, to adjust pitch. You literally just pull it down or push it up and you can adjust the pitch for water runoff or to help give you more shade. You'll also notice you have speakers in the head of the awning there. That way when the awning is extended, the speakers are playing down on the campsite rather than blasting out at your neighbors. And you have an LED light strip going all the way across. So just a flip of a switch, you have light at night. A uh, quick thing about the roof on here, folks, this one does have the Magnum roof system, which is a great roof system. You have two by two vertical supports instead of one bys. You also have oversized nail plates on there and everything is screwed instead of stapled. On top of that extra strong roof, they also have Diflex 2, which is a fleeceless TPO roof membrane, which has all the advantages of your rubber roof, like being pliable, but you don't have to get up there and constantly add in or put on all the additives. So an excellent roofing system here on the Jayco. Getting in is quite simple. You have the two foldable steps with the grab handle right there. And right over here, you have a couple electrical outlets. If you need to plug anything in outside here, this is the place to do it. One of the things I do want to mention real quick, folks, if you notice, you don't have any vents here underneath your awning. When you're talking about great usable camp space, that's something I always try to look for, and I love that in a floor plan, because that means you can set up your chairs anywhere around here and you won't have a bunch of vents blowing hot air on you. So when you have electrical outlets right here, you can set up a table, you can put up your crock pot, your electric griddle, whatever else out here. So I, I think that is, again, a big advantage of this floor plan. You also see the axles on here, folks. These ones have easy lube axles. If you pop that little cap off there in the center of your uh, rim there, there's actually a little grease there where you can pump some grease into instead of having to constantly repack your bearings. Now, it's not something you're just going to want to do willy-nilly. You do want to know what you're doing because you can mess some things up, but it is definitely an overall easier process than constantly repacking those bearings. And then right back here, just in case that pass-through storage wasn't enough, you have all this storage right here too. If you take a look in the upper corner, you'll see an electrical outlet, and I like that to be in a storage area. The reason is, I generally like to take some tools with me, so if I have my cordless drill, I can plug it in right there and be able to charge the batteries. That really makes it quick and easy, if you've never used one before, for your stabilizer jacks, just to zip them up and down. When you come around to the back here, you see your square tubular bumper. It does have the uh, end caps in there, so that way you have a nice storage spot for your sewer hose, so it's not rolling around with everything else in there. Outside shower with both hot and cold water access, and then you have a spare tire here too, folks. Uh, hopefully you never have to use this, but if you do, having it mounted to the bumper here is probably the easiest place to get to it, and it has the cover on here, so it should be in good shape. Here on the off-door side, you'll see your cable or satellite inlet right there. Down below is your termination with both your black and tank, or sorry, black and gray tank valves there too. 30 amp power cord right here, folks. You can just pull that guy out when you're done. Of course, just shove it right back in there. Hides inside for you. City water connection right here. If you have pressurized water, that is where you will put it. If, however, you're filling up your fresh water tank, if you're doing some boondocking, that one will be located right there. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Jayco J-Flight SLX 232RB. 
If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and let's go camping.